Quantum Mechanics Bohr's model was a tremendous improvement over the previous models of the atom. However, it still had some issues. Number one, multi-electron atoms, okay, so helium, beryllium, lithium, iron, didn't have the energy levels that were predicted by the Bohr model. That's bad. Also, you would get double and triple bands in the emission spectrum. The model does not have an explanation for why some energy levels are very close together. They should all be far apart, differing by the difference between n equal 1, n equal 2, n equal 3. There shouldn't be these triple bands and double bands. So we need something new. And that's what quantum mechanics provides. Quantum mechanics is a revolutionary theory that explains the behavior of exceedingly small particles like atoms and subatomic particles. It has proven to be the most accurate, tested theory of physics. It explains, among many things, the energy states in complex atoms and molecules and the relative brightness of spectral lines. Its revolutionary foundation lies in how it describes the behavior of small particles. Quantum mechanics is based on strong evidence that very small particles, like electrons, do not behave like anything we experience in our day-to-day -day lives. They sometimes act like particles of matter, which is what we'd expect. But they sometimes act like waves of light or sound. This is called wave-particle duality. There's nothing in our experience which acts like an electron acts. Only experimental data forced scientists to accept this behavior. Understanding how strangely very small objects like electrons behave and the implications of that is beyond the scope of this course. There are entire courses and books which explain and interpret quantum theory. The experimental data are clear. Understanding how it could be true is challenging. For our purposes, we'll quickly summarize some results and then use the information as it impacts chemistry. In a Nobel Prize winning experiment, Davison and Germer of Bell Laboratories found that electrons could act just like waves. Their experiment showed an electron transitioning from acting like a particle to acting like a wave and then back to acting like a particle. It would be like throwing a baseball at a wall with two windows and having it go through both windows at the same time and still be a single baseball on the other side. Again, that doesn't make sense, right, from common everyday experience? but it has been well proven and is the basis of all that will follow in this course. Following is key experimental evidence of the weird behavior of electrons. Here's the experiment. Electrons are shot one at a time, and here's our electron gun down here, shooting an electron one at a time. Look at the uh, nomenclature there. It's got a little dot showing it as a particle or a wave showing it as a wave. It's kind of neat. The barrier here has two slits, double slit. As particles, each electron should go through one slit or the other, creating two bands where they should strike the observing screen. Actually, however, a pattern emerges which shows that each electron acts like a wave and passes through both slits. Then it acts like a particle again, so here's the wave, here's the particle, and back here it acts like a particle again. So it acts like a particle again when striking the observing screen. This shows the wave-particle duality. And here's a really cool video that illustrates that. Some of the coolest photos ever based on one of the most amazing experiment ever. The photos show electrons being fired one at a time through the two slits. And what we have here, this is the screen, the observation screen on the other side of the double slits. Each exposure was made after a slightly longer time. The same pattern emerges as if light was going through the double slits. This indicates that each individual electron must behave like a wave and pass through both slits. But each electron must be a particle when it strikes the film or it wouldn't make one dot. See all these little dots here? And then they combine to form this pattern, which is just like if light was going through it. The one picture shows that matter acts like both a wave and a particle. Physics spent much of the early 20th century trying to use and interpret the implications of wave-particle duality. Major contributions were made by Heisenberg, shown here, 
with his uncertainty principle, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, and by Schrodinger with his wave equation, the Schrodinger wave equation. Their work has been consistently supported by solid experimental evidence. The solutions to the Schrodinger equation for electrons confined to an atom or molecule are the basis for much of what follows in the course. Right? Chemistry is all about what electrons are doing. Treating the electron as a wave, the wave equation describes the probability of finding an electron at each location within an atom or molecule. Schrodinger received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1933 for the development of his equation.